welcome to another cleaning video. This is gonna be my third cleaning video this year. I'm gonna be trying to film one every week. I have got a different drink this week. This is strawberry daiquiri cocktail thing. This is my favorite cocktail. It's different because usually I will film one of these videos in the morning, so I will have a coffee, but this is gonna be an evening clean with me video. I only do these kind of evening cleans on weekends because after work I don't have the energy to do this. So I'm just gonna film whatever cleaning I get up to this evening. My first task this evening was doing my laundry. This is something that I always struggle to keep on top of. Every single week I have the same issue where it just piles up and piles up and it's so annoying. A lot of what is in this wash basket is actually my bed sheets so you know it does take up some space but I do find it quite difficult to keep on top of laundry and I only live by myself I can't imagine what it's like for people who have like loads of children and people to do their washing for so yeah I do actually struggle to keep on top of the washing but I think it's because I just can't be bothered when I get in from work to put a wash on because I know that I'm gonna have to put it out later on I really enjoy doing laundry but then actually putting it out and putting it out on the washing line. I really hate doing that. Like that is my least favorite job in the entire world. I tend to enjoy cleaning, but when it comes to doing laundry, I just really don't like it. So for me, it is definitely a tedious task. And the reason why I do this first is because it means that the washing machine is going whilst I'm doing the other cleaning tasks. This isn't something I would do last because I'd be asleep whilst the washing machine is going and my clothes would still be in there throughout the night. I do think it is important for me to wash my clothes quite regularly though because I do work in quite a dusty, muddy environment at work because I do work in agriculture. Oh yeah, I'd finished and used up this fabric conditioner by the way. Also, when it comes to laundry, I really swear by using Unstoppables. They are basically scent boosters, so they just make your clothes smell a lot nicer and I love using them. I think that they do really genuinely make your, your um, clothes smell a lot nicer and it's definitely worth getting if you really like that kind of fresh laundry smell because you've got the cleaning products, the fabric conditioner and the unstoppables. It's yeah, it's great. I have got my parents and my brother some Easter chocolates to do an Easter egg hunt and I know that sounds like something a child would do but it's also what adults can do because it's fun. Um, I thought that I would do like some clues where they can hunt for something so I'll do a clue they have to go and find um, the next clue which will have some chocolates in it and then the next clue and then the next clue and maybe I will film that or, or clips of that but that will be in like a week or two. But I thought I'd show you the chocolate I've got them. So, Mum, if you're watching, stop watching this video. So, I'm going to make my family some little mini egg nests. I got them some lint eggs that I'm going to hide around, some cream eggs, some little lint bunnies, which I'm going to say are from my bunnies, Rodney and Ralph. I got these little chocolate sticks, even though I did actually break one of them, which is so annoying, and a Malteser bunny and a white chocolate Thing, whatever that was, a little Easter egg, and also this gingerbread man. Because I got them a lot of stuff, I did actually get them each a bag to put them in, because um, I thought they might need like a little bag to go around and put their little presents in as they go around the Easter egg hunt. But yeah, I find it quite fun to put this together. It's enjoyable.
I have actually really been enjoying filming these cleaning videos. I know this is only the third one that I've done so far this year, but I really enjoy it. I just find that it actually makes me get done a lot more cleaning and I don't necessarily enjoy the cleaning as much because I do quite like to clean. Like I've always found it quite satisfying cleaning, but I don't really enjoy it as much when I'm filming because you have to move the camera around and you can't really focus on a task. And I don't really clean as well as I do if I'm not filming, but it definitely does motivate me to actually get more stuff done because I'm like, oh, I need to film this for the video. I can't just, you know, put a few clips in and we're done. So it does make me clean a lot more. So I think this is a good thing that I'm filming these videos. But yeah, let me know if you're the kind of person that likes watching cleaning videos, even though why am I asking that? If you're watching this video and you're listening to me say that, then clearly you like watching them, maybe. I don't know. You should be anyway. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, I also moved my little fire stove up into my bedroom and also my TV. I just really enjoy having my TV upstairs. I find that... It's just nicer to chill in bed and watch TV than to kind of sit downstairs. I will get a TV for downstairs though as well, but at the minute I'm just enjoying being upstairs and having my heater upstairs as well. It's really nice and cozy, that little fire. And I do actually have a real stove downstairs, so I didn't exactly need it downstairs anyway, to be honest with you. But basically, I tidied my bedroom up. All I was doing today is basically just tidying up, really. I wasn't really doing any actual, like, cleaning or anything. And I just wanted to make sure that everywhere was nice and organised and that everything was away so that tomorrow I am able to get done all of the hoovering, all of the mopping and everything is just nice and tidy, ready for me to be able to do that. My next task in cleaning my bedroom was to organise the shelves. They didn't really need organising that much, but I thought that I would just, I don't know, give them a little bit of a tidy up because it just looked a little bit messy and it's a two second job. It's something that takes like 10 seconds and it makes a massive difference. Well, it doesn't look that different, but it makes a massive difference to me and I notice it. So yeah. When I was 12 years old, I actually went to New Zealand and a few of the things that I just showed you on these shelves, I actually picked up from New Zealand. I got this espresso cup. Um, which says New Zealand in it and I don't really know why I got that but it's quite cute and um, it's got sheep on it because there is a lot of sheep in New Zealand. I got this little um, globe which says New Zealand on it, sorry the camera's focusing on my face, um, which is really cute. I got a little key ring, kiwi, um, obviously New Zealand is well known for the kiwis as in the actual kiwi birds and then this little kiwi which you can actually Put away and it's got the initial like original tag on it so this is over 10 years old and it was nine dollars ninety nine new zealand dollars so that's crazy oh and i also got this little guy which i only just saw um which is cute don't know what he is but so i just shared that with you those little things that i picked up new zealand is definitely somewhere that i would want to go again at some point but it's just very expensive place to go
of the video is in collaboration with Bambi Skin. A while back they sent me the neck moisturiser which I have been testing and using for the past month. This is what the product looks like. It's nice sleek black packaging and then this is the moisturiser. This is specific to your neck so it's a separate step to the rest of your skincare. So my skincare routine at the minute is very basic like I'm just trying to make sure that I actually do my skincare. I literally remove my makeup with the Clinique, take the day off balm and I moisturise with this Garnier Skin Active Vitamin C Moisturiser and then for my neck I will use this product here. So the product itself and um, the brand on it says IMIM and it's a firming and sculpting neck cream. I'm just reading off here to make sure I get all the information correct and it's £16.99. Now it does actually contain hyaluronic acid and peptides which is especially the peptide section, great for anti-wrinkles, which is exactly why this product has been created for your neck area, because that is often an area where you will get most wrinkly due to not using any kind of sun cream potentially in that area, being exposed to the sun, also not taking your skincare down here. You know, your face could be really nice and smooth, but you could be wrinkly on your neck because you haven't moisturized down here. So it is important to do that. So it says here that hyaluronic acid improves skin moisture balance and accelerates cell turnover. It has shea butter in it, which is improving fine lines, tightening your skin and delaying skin aging. I do have a discount code that I will put on the screen now. It is very um, hard to remember, so you might want to um, copy and paste what is in the description because I will link this product in the description and I will also link my code or write my code. It's SQB7A44C and that will get you 20% off this product. So go and check out the product. It is really nice and moisturizing. It sinks into the skin really, really easily. I will put it on now. I haven't taken my makeup off yet um, because I do need to do that, but I don't have any makeup on my neck right now. So I will show you me using this product, but it does sink into the skin straight away. And you should bring your skincare down really far, like down here. Like this is where you should be bringing your skincare down as well as this neck cream product. I haven't noticed any difference visually because I don't have wrinkles anyway, because I'm only 23. So I'm not gonna sit here and say, I don't have any wrinkles because of this product, because that's not true. I don't have any wrinkles because I'm 23, but it sinks in really nicely. It smells really nice and it's very moisturizing and makes my skin feel very soft. So that is all that I can say for this product. But yeah, all links are in the description if you want to go and check it out. Every week I set myself a task to do that isn't something I would normally do every week. And this week I decided to organize and clean my cutlery drawer. I know it's something small, but it's just something to add on to my cleaning routine. So I thought I would get this done. It is quite important to keep this clean because at the end of the day, when you're washing up, you don't want to put your cutlery back into a drawer that is dirty and unclean. So this was definitely well overdue.
So it is now quite later on in the evening now. I have finished all of my tidying up tasks for this evening. Tomorrow morning I can now wake up and I can crack on with hoovering and mopping and just any kind of actual thorough cleaning that I usually do every single week. Thanks for watching. I will see you next week with another cleaning video. And the bunnies want to say goodbye as well. Bye bye. Don't worry, I'm also cleaning their cage tomorrow as well.